Introduction Strontoflex is a flexible, self-adhesive laminate film, which is ideal for covering hard, non-porous surfaces and shapes. It comes in over 400 designs, including woods, metals, marbles, ceramics and planes, giving you a huge choice to cover your products or surfaces. You'll see how to install Strataflex in most of the common situations that you are likely to encounter. Before you start, before installing Strataflex, you should check to ensure you have everything you need. Here are a few things to remember. Make sure the product is as ordered, free from damage, and enough to complete the job. The surfaces you are working on should be sound, smooth, and the working area should be free from contamination. This will reduce the possibility of anything sticking to the self-adhesive backer as you are working. The working environment should be well lit and not too hot or cold. Tools to install Strataflex, the essential tools we think you will need are a good quality brush, tape measure, range of spatulas, including the essential 10 cm small spatula, joint cutter and spare blades to trim backing papers, sharp knives, a good pair of scissors. Materials. Adhesion enhancer is used where the bond needs to be strengthened, for example on the edge of doors or overlapped areas. Next, a two-pack filler for achieving a hard, non-porous filled surface. Surface testing. To ensure adhesion, we recommend that before starting, you always carry out a substrate test, even if it looks completely sound. To do this, take a small piece of Strataflex and apply it to an unobtrusive part of the surface of the area you intend to cover. Remove it after a few minutes, examine the backer and see if any of the substrate has become detached. Here, a sound substrate indicates that the product can be repositioned a number of times without damaging the surface. Here, however, the substrate is damaged by the adhesive and shows that repositioning of the product is not possible and the product must be fixed in place correctly the first time. If you have any doubts, contact your supplier. Measuring and cutting Strataflex. Ideally, you should have a cutting table or a good, smooth, clean and flat surface to work on. Having measured the area of installation, it's very easy to cut and prepare the product. Roll the product out along the table. A heavy object is handy to stop it re-rolling. Note that the backing paper has vertical and horizontal lines at 5 or 10 cm intervals, which can be used to achieve a nice straight line. Trimming the edges in preparation for installation. To trim the backing paper, roll out the cut Strataflex on your cutting surface with backer facing upwards. This will allow for ease of positioning and the making of the joints. First, prepare the edge. Measure a line about 2 cm or 1 inch in from the edge. Peel back the backing paper and insert the shoe of the joint cutter so that you are cutting only the backing paper and leaving it in place. Pull down the cutter to complete the trimmed edge. Now the top edge. Again, measure down about two centimeters from the top, marking a line. Make another mark about a further 10 centimeters down. Now take the cutter and make two cuts in the backer, leaving a strip of backer across the top. The product is now ready to be applied to the wall. Applying to the wall. With all release paper in place, hold the cut piece in the centre and line it up against a plumbed line. Smooth it against the wall and pull down the top edge and gently remove the previously cut strip. Smooth down the top section across the width and now you have your first piece in place. 
Smooth the rest of the piece using a spatula in a horizontal motion across the face, releasing about 10 centimeters or 4 inches at a time. The piece of release paper still on the left hand edge should stay there for making the joint. At the bottom of the piece make sure that the floor area is clean and don't pull the last part of the release paper too quickly as this will create static and attract dust particles. Trimming. At top and bottom use a broader spatula and a good sharp knife, moving the spatula and leaving the knife in the joint. Applying the next piece. Take your next piece of Strataflex, which has been cut to size with the backer trimmed as before. With the release paper on the left hand edge again, apply it, making an overlap of the first piece of about 2 cm or 1 inch. The overlap will stick to the top of the first piece. Apply this next piece in exactly the same way as the first. Joining Strataflex. Strataflex achieves a smooth, almost invisible joint by using an overlap and trim joint. There are two ways of doing this. First the joint using the cutter. Make a small incision in the top. Peel back both pieces of product and insert the cutter beneath both pieces. Close back the joint and gently pull down the cutter down the length of the product. Then at the top, peel back the product and remove the release papers and the excess product from the first piece and smooth down the edge of this first piece. Remove the release paper and vinyl from the second piece and make the joint by gently feeding the product together from the top working down in a slightly diagonal fashion. Making the joint using a knife and straight edge. Take the knife and insert into the product cutting through both pieces and using a good straight edge for guidance. Remove backing papers and excess product as before. When smoothing a knife cut joint the technique is slightly different. The joint is made by smoothing from above in a downwards fashion. Whichever method you choose for your joint, you can see that both produce a very good result. Dealing with air bubbles. Occasionally you may find that you have an air bubble under the surface after you've applied the product. Air bubbles are easy to remove. Make a small incision with a knife and then using a spatula push the air out of the hole. Afterwards, smooth down the product. We hope that you found this video useful and that it's provided you with the basic information you need to begin installing this unique product. If you have any additional technical questions, please refer to your supplier or contact Miraspec directly and we'll be pleased to help you. Thank you for your interest in our products and good luck with all your installations.